Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about labels. In today's modern workplace, most organizations use email, chat services, collaboration tools, storage platforms, to share information and documentation inside and outside the organization. This makes the data no longer located behind a perimeter firewall. It flows everywhere, across devices, apps, and services. Microsoft 365 addresses these challenges with sensitivity and retention labels. Let's look at sensitivity label and retention label in detail. Sensitivity labels can help the users to classify documents and protect sensitivity content in their files. These sensitivity labels are based on Rights Management Services or RMS, which is available in Azure RMS and on-premises AD RMS. These sensitivity labels are used to classify and protect documents with encryption and central management capabilities to monitor access and even revoke access to documents. Sensitivity labels can be applied manually by end users or automatically based on search patterns. In short, sensitivity labels protect the content of the document, even if the storage on which the data is saved is open for collaboration even with external participants. So what is retention label? In some organizational working environment, Files contain data which need different action. For example, you might store invoices that you need to retain for a certain period. In this case, retention policies in Office 365 are used in order to make a classification and enforce the content to be automatically deleted or preserved after a certain period. So unified labeling describes the centralized management of labels that can have retention and sensitivity settings applied. Please note that any item can have both a sensitivity label and a ret retention label applied. Now that we have learned on a high level what is sensitivity label and retention label, let's go and see how to create and manage sensitivity label in the next video. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.